Let me hear him. What's his glucose level? Quick check showed 39. That's too low. He needs that IV. Okay. Hold still. Hold still for a minute. He's fat. Damn it. Come on, talk to me back there. He won't stop flailing. I don't know what to do. Relax. Calm down. Make sure he's breathing okay. We're 60 seconds away from grace. Dispatch, this is County 322. We got a 30-year-old diabetic male who plus assistance at the gate. Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Start pumping fluids. He's losing blood fast. I need some more negative. I need pressure here. Let's move or we'll lose this leg. I need two meters of neg right now. I don't like the way this guy's breathing. I'm intubating him. Give me a central line train, a rapid infuser. What have you got there, Jim? Transient passed out in a coffee shop wearing a diabetic bracelet. Smells of alcohol. Quick check showed blood glucose down to 39. It's okay, sir. Hold on. We got you. Let's get an IV in. Wouldn't let us. He's fighting too hard. Okay, we'll take over. Okay, IV's in. Okay, someone check the diabetic. Give me a glucose level. All right. Keep monitoring his pulse rate. Put him up on the monitor. All right, we got proximal control. Let's get him down to the OR. Let's go. Okay, so who do we have here? John Howard. This is blood glucose. 65, almost normal. Can't be right. They said it was 39 in the ambulance. Maybe their equipment was wrong. Let's play it safe and keep him for observation. Register this patient in 23-hour hold. I want his blood tested for CBC, Chem 7, ETOH, and glucose every two hours. Driven to a desperate act. Fighting a war against an enemy nobody sees or wants to believe. I won't keep going alone. I can't. Quatrain 12, Century 5. Where angels touch grace, one without sight sees the dark enemy. At the right hand of the twice-blessed man, the ally leads him to the summit. Where angels touch grace, could be right here at Grace General Hospital in Los Angeles. The city of angels. Somewhere in these walls might be an ally who knows what I do. A good idea between my allergies and these flowers. You shot up the insulin. You're a wild man. Yeah, well, it worked just like you said it would. I had to fight like hell to keep the paramedics from giving me an IV. How you feeling now? I'm tired. Here's your gear. Hey. Thanks, put him in the bed, will you? What the hell am I doing here, Eddie? What's wrong, man? When I was pulling heists, I always knew my gut when the job was a bust. That's how I feel right now. 
That insulin really messed you up, huh? You just keep popping them sugar cubes. I'm serious, Eddie. I killed the bastard who murdered Hannah. I got payback. Lost motivation. You cut off the hand, dude. Still got the head and the body. Look, every experiment we expose means we got a couple more people who believe in the truth. Build a movement, man. It's gonna be a long haul. Eddie, have you ever stopped to consider that maybe we can't beat them? Yeah, they're strong. Frankly, I haven't got much faith in the human race. But I got faith in you, Foster. You can beat these bastards. Come on, man, you gotta find yourself an ally. Let's concentrate on that. All right. Have you, uh, you access the hospital computer system? Tried. No central computer system at all. This is a 23-hour hold area, Eddie. That's all the time I got. All right, looking for one without sight. Blind patient. Forget administration, it's staffed around the clock. Try checking the surgery schedules in OR after hours, huh? Look, man, I gotta get going. My nose is starting to itch.
Ne? All you new young doctors, you think you're so stylish? Put some socks on already. And don't walk the halls without a cover-up. You've contaminated those greens for surgery. I swear I don't know how some of these kids get through medical school these days. Well, they don't make them like you anymore, Dr. Markowitz. I suppose not. It's too bad. I didn't mean to violate any codes, sir. Thanks for the socks and the robe. It's okay. It's not a crime to take a little pride in your work. Dr. Markowitz give you the third degree? I'll say. You definitely don't want to get on his bad side. You can make your life rough. I'll try and remember that. Uh, listen, I I'm still getting familiar with this place. I'm looking for a patient in 507. Um, no, that can't be right. Anything over 500 is in the West Wing. It's been closed for two years. Oh. Well, thanks. So you're just gonna stand there holding my chart, letting it draft in? What makes you think I'm holding your chart? Well, I got eyes, don't I? Medical chart here says you're blind. Who are you? I'm one of your doctors. Does it say that I'm stupid somewhere on that chart? You are no doctor. Is that right? Unless doctors smell like malt liquor. Look, if you've come to rob the blind girl, you're out of luck. Unless you have a need for food stamps and my purse is in the closet. That's not why I'm here. You're a rapist? Think I can't spot you in a lineup? The last guy who tried to rape me was sent to this very hospital to try and reattach part of his anatomy. Are you done yet? Or maybe you're just a mental patient who's wandered off somewhere, hmm? You've got quite a colorful imagination. Had a lot of time to imagine. I'll bet. Lost your eyesight at six months, living in South Central. It's a pretty tough place to be blind. Yeah, like, you know all about it. I read your chart in the OR. It says you had eye surgery two weeks ago. Is that when they restored your eyesight? No telling. Listen, play it however you want. But I'm going to find out what you're doing in this abandoned wing. Who are you? I'm just somebody who wants to help. This hospital's not right, Alika. I don't think you're safe here. See, wouldn't it be like some holy roller to come in here and ruin the best thing that ever happened to me? Alika, don't! Get out of here! All right. But ask yourself something when I'm gone. 
Why'd they help you? Has anybody ever given you anything for free? What is it, Alika? Somebody was just in here. Who? He said he was a doctor. What was his name? He didn't say. What did he want? He didn't say. What did he say? He was wondering why I'm in this old wing. He wanted to know who was keeping me here. We put you in this wing because of overcrowding, Alika. Yeah, but I never leave it. I mean, after 22 years in the dark, I kind of like to see something other than this room. You can talk to the doctor about that tomorrow. Why don't you get a good night's sleep and rest your eyes? Foster? I think I might have found the ally, Eddie. Who is it? A girl from South Central. Blind? She was blind. Apparently had surgery here to give her eyesight. She had her eyesight restored? There's some weird stuff going on here, Eddie. The quatrain says woman without sight sees the dark enemy. I might be insane, but she may be able to see aliens. Tell us who they are. She'd be the weapon we've been waiting for. Human divining rod. All right, Mr. Schwartz. Let's see how you're doing this morning. Fever's down. No more bladder infection. Good torgor. Urine's clear. Hey, you're in great shape. I know, I know. These uh, indwelling catheters are a real pain in... Well, let's just say they're a real pain. But hopefully this is the last time in a while that we're going to have to replace it. Hang in there, Mr. Schwartz. Good morning, Alika. I understand you'd like to see a bit of the world today. Mm-hmm. You like it very much. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Just make sure you use these for protection. Now, how's breakfast in the cafeteria sound? I know it's not much, but at least it'll get you out of this stuffy room. <laughs> Amen to that. But right now, I would like to look at those new eyes. Everything goes white. Well, that's okay. You're still sensitive to light. Is that normal? 
Well, we don't know what's normal. When we replaced your eyes, we rerouted the optic nerve. Everyone has a blind spot in their field of vision. But you don't. It's a new procedure, but I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Are you sure? I keep waiting for something to go wrong. I am so sure I have scheduled your final stage. Your cornea transplant. By this time tomorrow, you're going to have perfect vision and gorgeous eyes. <sighs> you don't look very happy with that. It's just that you've all been really good to me, Dr. Reed. I never... You don't let yourself hope when you're blind. You don't hope to see. You can't. This must be overwhelming for you. It is. So what's wrong, Alika? Why are you doing this, Dr. Reed? Who's paying for these operations? Where I come from, they don't give you something for nothing. Is that what this is about? Alika, we have plenty of funding. We're a research hospital. You have nothing to worry about. Excuse me, nurse. I need you to check on Mrs. Stevens' IV in 212. I have to stay with this patient. This patient will be just fine right here for five minutes while you attend to your duties. I'm sorry, doctor, but I really can't leave this patient. What you really can't do is ignore the request of a senior physician. Now, this hospital is falling apart, and it's just this kind of attitude here that contributes to it. Wait here, what? Anika. How'd you know I was in here? I still got that malt liquor funk happening. I guess there's no sense lying to you. I poured alcohol on myself yesterday to fool the paramedics into thinking I was drunk. You are from the mental ward. No. No, I'm not. What's your name? Cade. Well, Cade, something's been bothering me, and I need to know what you know straight up. Straight up? Straight up. 400 years ago, a prophet looked into the future and saw someone special, someone who could see a dark enemy in our midst. I think Nostradamus saw you. What else did this Nostradamus say? That you'd help me defeat them. You and me? I think we can do it. I think we can defeat the dark enemy, Batman. <laughs> Alika, I need to know what you see. Please. Well, some people look different to me than others. You can't see them. Dr. Reed said that Everybody has a blind spot, but I don't. It's some kind of new procedure or something. Alika, everything changes today. It's a new war. Do they know that you can see them? No. It must be some kind of unintended side effect. We gotta get you out of here. Whoa, hang on a second. I've been blind longer than I can remember, so I don't even know what I'm seeing. But what I do know is that the people you're talking about gave me sight. They're all looking pretty damn fine to me. For all I know, you're the dark enemy. You said something was bothering you. Yeah, when they took me in for surgery, I was sedated, but I was still awake. And the place that we went to, it was all wrong. I could smell rotting meat. What if I can find that place? Prove the truth. Will you help me? I thought you might want to see this. Remember the diabetic that came through ER yesterday? Take a look at his bloods. 
0.03 blood alcohol. It's hardly a beer. Normal blood sugar overnight. What do you think? I think someone's playing games with us. Where is he now? Still up in 23-hour hold. The assembly weren't convinced of the value of human anatomy experiments in the first place. Let's not give him a reason to shut us down. Run a DNA check on his blood. straight corridor. When we stopped, I could hear a buzzing, this buzzing sound on and off. There was this elevator nearby, and we went inside. I think we went down. I counted four dings before we stopped. I got out, I could, I could feel that it was damp and musty. I don't really remember which way we went, but there was, there was running water up ahead. I heard something, this hissing sound, like wind. I was scared. Not just because of the operation, because something felt, I don't know. I found your eye donor. Only he didn't sign a donor card. Come on, I gotta get you out of here. Come on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I can't go. What are you talking about? I'm getting new corneas tomorrow. I'm gonna be able to see just like everybody else. Listen to me, Alika. They don't want to help you. 
They want to study you. And when they're finished studying you, they'll kill you. Wh who is they? You wouldn't believe me. All that matters is they're taking over. And you and I are the best hope anybody's got to stop them. Come Wait, on. So says the mighty Nostradamus? Yeah, that's right. Well, no old dead white guy's gonna tell me what to do. You can see them. That means you can save lives. If you're blessed with a gift and you let it go to waste, there's nothing worse. Nothing worse. Look, I've had my doubts about what Nostradamus predicted for me. Sometimes I lose my sense of purpose. But then I see a place like this and I know I have to do something. I was a baby in my mama's arms when a bullet from the street shattered my bedroom window. I lost my eyes and I lost my mama. My brother, my sister and me, we went straight into a county home. I'm sorry for that. But that doesn't change your responsibility. No, you're wrong there, Kate. It does. I found out at an early age I am responsible for one person. Me. I am going to bring this place down. And then I'm coming back for you. Oh, no, I got you figured out. You're an investigator, aren't you? Medical board. Why? What do you know? Well, frankly, this hospital's gone to hell since being bought out last year. Unsanitary work conditions, patients misplaced, strange doctors running around. The first time you saw me, you thought I was a new doctor. I'm telling you, there's been an invasion of interns around here. Dr. Markowitz, I believe that the new doctors are part of a group who want to take this hospital over for their own use. Conspiracy, huh? Yeah. So how come you trust me? I saw the way you handled the old guy next to me. He seemed different. You care. Well. Has anyone ever told you? You have beautiful eyes. You have a novel concept on this planet. Serendipity. Sort of cosmic collision of events that's often attributed to God. I might get a point in having to discuss religion with aliens. That's too bad. Because you made me a believer in serendipity the moment you walked into our snake pit. Foster. That's right. We know who you are. In fact, this is where the assembly were planning to bring you for study. But you saved us the trouble. Serendipity. They're using this hospital as a human research lab. People are gonna find out. No one cares what happens in your inner cities. That's why we chose Grace General Hospital. Dr. Markowitz knew something was wrong. Dr. Markowitz. He was the last of the old doctors. The stubborn man refused our very generous retirement package. Now, let's get started. Left this door open. You're having a bad dream, Alika.
The human eye fascinates me. People can see so much with it, but very often the information fails to reach the brain. I can't figure it out. Alika needs new corneas to see clearly. Yours will do just fine. Anything for a good cause. Everyone here wants a piece of you, quite literally. I got first dibs. I've seen the freaks you're creating here. How do you condone it? The same way your doctors do. Our doctors save lives. Well, your medical breakthroughs came at the expense of lesser species. Rats, pigs, sheep, apes. What do you think you are to me? Now, when I put this solution in your eyes, you'll temporarily lose vision. But don't let it bother you. After all, I'm about to slice off your corneas. This may hurt a bit. chase you. body was right here. It's okay, Alika. Alien bodies dissolve when they die. What is it? It's Dr. Reed! He's still alive! Let me find a weapon. Find something. Where is he? Can you see him? No, not yet. room could use a little light. Uh, Where is he? I can't see now. It's light too bright. My glasses. Two blind rats. Two blind rats. See how they run. See how they Here. run. Can you smell them? No, the whole room smells like rotten flesh. Well, listen. Just listen. He's on your right. No! They make a sound when they die. Kate? Is that the sound? Where are you? What's going on? Oh my. Kate? What's happening? Talk to me. Please. 
I'm here. I'm here. Get us out of here. Well, that's it. That freak ward burned to the ground. They destroyed the evidence. Well, that's not all. I've been listening to police scanners. I can't figure out where the hospital staff went. Well, we got one thing out of it. Alika. Your ally. I'm not your ally. I need your help, Alika. I'm sorry, Cade. Just being a hero, it's your thing. Not mine. You think I chose this? I can't close my eyes to what's going on. I have to do something about it. Of course you do. That's who you are. I know who I am. Alika, you have eyes now. Once you see the suffering that's going on around you, you'll change your mind. Nostradamus was on target. About you. It's your destiny. You have a mission. Yeah, that's right. I do. I have a mission to see my sister's face for the first time. To look into my brother's eyes. That's not what I'm talking about. You don't get it, do you? You said that you had doubts. That you'd lost your sense of purpose. Well, it sure seems like you got purpose now. Let's check your prophecy again, Foster. I fulfilled my mission. Alika! And so I watched my ally walk away. Alika chose against the destiny Nostradamus predicted for her. Or maybe she didn't. Maybe the summit she helped me climb was my own doubts. Because I learned something about myself from Alika. I'm not fighting aliens to clear my name. Or avenge my wife's death. Not even because Nostradamus predicted it. I'm fighting them because it's who I am. And I won't give up until I win.